So I unboxed the motherboard and what came with that was a Molex, a Molex to SATA power connector and two SATA cords, the color corded back plate, an HDMI cable that I think is three feet long, a quick install guide, and the full manual. <clears throat> so, I got the motherboard out of its anti-static bag and set it down on the box. A really good tip is to not set it on the anti-static bag. It's a conductive grid bag. The outside is conductive. So, there's a small chance that it will get shocked by the anti-static bag if you set it on the outside. So, I installed the processor on the stock heatsink. When you're putting in the heatsink, you want to make sure that you don't over apply the thermal paste. You just want to put a little dot somewhere between the size of a grain of rice and a bean on it. And then now I will install the RAM. I have installed the RAM and with the RAM you usually have to put a considerable amount of pressure to get it into the slots and then you just flip these things in to lock it into place. You're good to go. So now I'm going to hook up the power supply and do a post test to make sure that everything here is alright. So I unboxed the GearHead keyboard and mouse and connected it to the motherboard and now I'm going to do a post test and see if I can get into the BIOS. So the fan starts spinning and you do this by completing the circuit, those two pins. Um, it's where you plug in your front connectors. All you're doing is completing the circuit. So it came up with that screen. So that lets us know we're good to go. There are no problems with the core components, which is really good. So now I'm going to disconnect the power supply and put it in our Thermaltake V3 Black Edition case.